This is gonna be a loose leash walking and leash activity video for people with small dogs. Here's the question I got on YouTube. Can this work with small dogs like Morky's? I have a harness, but worry about pulling too hard on a correction. And then she writes, is there an alternative for Tory breed dogs? All right, I usually show big dogs when I'm doing loose leash and leash reactivity, but a lot of you have small reactive dogs. So we're gonna use Ted here. He's like the best dog ever, but he does have loose leash walking issues and leash reactivity issues. I don't know how people possibly um, treat their dogs when they're this small. Like sit there and constantly give her treats. My back, I'm not that young anymore. My back would hurt from constantly doing this, constantly doing this. I also don't like gentle leaders for these tiny dogs. So the method is the same. You're starting to get my method. The method is the exact same for small dogs, but everything's softer, okay? Everything's softer. So you put the leash on in your living room. This guy's been great. Has he pulled on the leash yet? He has not. Okay, is he with me? Yes, you have to do this. Okay, release your dog, okay. And then if he's with you, this guy's on your page. This guy's ready to go for a walk. If your dog goes, I'm leaving, then you have to give him a little correction and put them back. By the way, this method of standing here and release, look how good this guy is. Ted, you're the best boy in the world. If you don't have treats, verbal reinforcement. This method of me saying, okay, taking a step and then the dog leaving me and me turning has gotten multiple comments that are so funny to me. Cause these people, they're like, why would you release the dog and then turn the other way? That means that the release to those people is like, okay, dog, when I say okay, it means you can just go nuts. My release when it's on a leash is release you to move forward, but keep an eye on me. That's what a release is on a leash. Off leash, a release is go nuts. On a leash, this leash trumps everything. There's no craziness on this leash. There's no pulling on this leash. There's no leaving you on this leash. You wanna get leash reactivity and your dog to walk well, boy, this leash is gold. There is no messing around on this thing. And that's what they don't get. That's what those people don't get. All positive, the, the, the purely positive reinforcement trainers who commented, there was just a few of them. You know a method works when they get mad about a method, by the way, because they can't get any results. And so if they're like, I can't believe you're doing that, then you're like, ah, we're definitely onto something here because they hate when stuff works because what they do with leash reactivity or aggression or even loose leash walking or even calm or even jumping, they don't have methods that work. And so I knew, I already knew the method worked. Now I really know, my God, this dog's being the greatest dog ever. Ted, you are the greatest dog in the world. I didn't ask him for a sit, he can cruise around, I don't care. Okay, he's with me. When your dog's with you, you can then go on the walk. All right, get to the door, do a sit, fling this door open. You've heard me say it a hundred times. Stay, I put him in a stay. Oh, don't be so quick to fly out that door. Okay, bink, and we're going back. I didn't even give him a correction. He gave himself a correction. He's the one flying out the door. And now, hey, proof's in the pudding. We'll see, he might fly out the door again. Ted, sit. Stay, you guys ready for this? If my method worked, this guy isn't gonna fly out this door. Okay, oh, and that's it guys. I don't wanna make this video too long. None of you do that. Nobody does what I just did. And that's why leash reactivity is an epidemic in society. I'm telling you, it's, the proof's in the pudding. Sit. This isn't about a sit stay. This isn't about me going out first. This is simply about when you say, okay, the dog cannot leave you. And then as I go on my walk, which I'm not gonna do on this video, because Ted's gonna be great. You wanna see it? You wanna see a great dog? We can go on a walk. I'm telling you, he's gonna be great because of what I just did. But you guys have to do this. He's gonna be good. Okay, look at this hesitation. Now when we go on the walk, now when you do this with your dog, you've got to, you got, you're gonna go on that walk, he's gonna be 80% better. So I released him, he left me, and then I simply turned. I didn't even give him a correction. I just went back in the house and he was perfect. Now let's see if he's perfect. Let's see if uh, we proved me right or proved me wrong. Lizzie, come on out. Now, perfection is simply the dog being with you. The dog being with you. You're out in the, maybe you're, oh, there, look, look. Based on that little one, this dog is with me. 
I'll go on a walk, I don't care. This dog is with me. All right, guys, so that is your, your small dog. And by the way, did you see my, I didn't even give a correction, I just turned, it was tiny. That was the question, small dog stuff. The small dog stuff is just softer. Everything's a little bit softer. Okay, those big dogs, these 100 pound dogs, you're not getting anywhere being soft. You're just not with horrible leash reactivity. You're not gonna get anywhere. This guy, I didn't even give really a correction. I just turned, he kind of hit the end of the leash, came back, and then he was a good dog. All right, leash reactivity, loose leash walking. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.